I am three weeks post-op today. I had a full thickness tear in my rotator cuff, and then I also had my bicep tendon um, detached and reattached. And um, my doctor used a patch over the repair. So I had my first physical therapy session today. It was not pleasant, but not awful either. It felt really good to have my shoulder moved around. And at the same time, the manual manipulation hurt a lot. If you've been doing the pendulum, pendulum swings, kind of when you get to that point of feeling some pain and discomfort, that's pretty much the type of pain that I felt during physical therapy, so it was, it was manageable. I've been spending more time out of the sling just because I can, or I'm sitting at my desk or just around the house. My doctor actually said that I can take it off around the house, but after a while it does start to feel a little uncomfortable and it's just, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's like a comfortable feeling to put it on. One of the things I have been noticing a lot is stiffness. I, at first I didn't know what it was, but after physical therapy, I know, uh, yeah, I was, I was getting stiff. It's like a, just a tight, weird feeling that um, I had never experienced before. Another thing that I experienced, and this is my fault for not, you know, squeezing the little ball, but I can definitely tell muscle atrophy in my, in my forearm, my arm too, but definitely my forearm was getting soft and I don't like that. Once I started moving my arm more, I actually, I have started, you know, doing some things to, to strengthen my forearm and my physical therapist is giving me some exercises for that as well. In terms of day-to-day -day life, there's definitely a couple things that I can't do. Like I can't, I struggle to cut food, especially since I'm, I'm right-handed. Um, I can't make up my bed very well. And um, that's about it. I mean, my, I'm using my hand for driving and I can use my arm as much as I need to. I just can't move my shoulder. So, so I'm, I, I'm even at this point, like I can reach, I can put earrings on and stuff like that. I just, I just can't use my shoulder. Aside from doing anything major around the house, home improvement type stuff, I'm pretty self-sufficient. So, so that's good. My friend was laughing at me because I'm wearing the sling, but I'm like doing all this stuff. And she's like, you look crazy. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I actually have done okay with sleeping since I'm a side sleeper anyway. Um, sleeping with this hasn't been a tremendous inconvenience. As far as I can tell, everything's going well. I just, you know, until I actually get to the point of trying to use my shoulder to do something, I can't say how successful or happy I am with this, but so far so good. Like I said, the biggest issues I have right now is dealing with the stiffness and learning to move and feeling comfortable moving. Because today with a physical therapist, you know, had me doing this, you know, in a passive movements, moving my arm. I was like, well done, this arm has not moved in three weeks. I'm kind of excited. These three weeks went by pretty fast. So I look forward to being able to do more and more. I opened a door with my hand today which I probably shouldn't have done that. But, um, you know, my physical therapist just said, be careful. My doctor said, let pain be your guide. You know, just do things within reason. So as long as I'm not actively moving my shoulder, which I still have yet to do on purpose, I think I should be okay. Really just to start focusing on the exercises my physical therapist gave me to just work on increasing that range of motion I'm optimistic at this moment. I am moving into week four of this recovery. I hope that it brings me more range of motion. And I, I, what I'm looking forward to most is when I start active range of motion. So I'm, I'm just ready to get back to normal. I'm encouraged and um, we'll see what happens in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.